Begin to think about it as that's out there, that thing called the head. Oh, you say, no, it isn't. I have a camera. I can take a picture of the head. Where do you hold the camera when you take a picture of your head? Out there, right? I mean, out there is where, that's where it is. That's where you get it. That's where you capture that head. It's out there, man. It's out there. It is where it is. out there. Okay. Get in touch with that. When you go home tonight and you're about to go to bed or walk around the room, In fact, right now, if you can, stand up with your, with your, with your head out there, okay, okay? That's your, that's your sun, by the way. You're now, you're now a solar system. That's your sun out there. Oh, that's my sun. I love him. I love him. Okay, and now rotate in space. Keep your eye on your sun and turn around like this. Notice as you do this, you don't get dizzy. On present evidence, what is turning? Certainly not my head and my son. The room is going around me. <laughs> See or no? Conclusion of this story. The whole truth about yourself. And how you've just found out. Instead of being the self, the little thing that you always have been told you were or are, you've now discovered that your essential nature is nothing at all. No thingness. Certainly conscious and alive and all, the th all those words you can attach to because you're having an experience, but even those words don't describe that experience. You're not even those things. But yet, there's a vital. I don't know what words to use. It's poetry. It's magic. It's vitality. You're that emptiness. You're the totality of everything you see around you. And every particular thing that lies in between. So just consider that. Something may occur to you in all of this, and that is, here you are in a body, in a, a universe which has dimensions of space and time and matter and energy, and now you've discovered your purpose. And you think, okay, what am I to do next? Don't worry about anything. Once you've discovered your purpose, you and the universe are suddenly one, and let the universe take over from this point. You don't have to worry about anything. When you are having the experience of loving another, this is the most common way. It may be the only way for some of us to ever have this experience. That's very sad. Because what you've done is you've transformed your own self-love, your own inner love, the love of this presence onto another. What you're experiencing is that love, but you've transferred it onto another. Now, if you do that, then and you forget that that's the inner being that you're dealing with, then you expect of the other certain behaviors to occur in such a way that you can feel that again. And it never, 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 never works. Never. Because that isn't where the love is. It has nothing to do with the other person. It has to do with you. And if you understand that and deal with it, you have the power to not only love another, but you will be loved by everybody in the universe. Because you're walking love. You don't even have to be a nice guy. You could be a complete you know, you could be like me. 
grumpy and loud and blah. Doesn't matter. If you're coming from that point of view, people sense it. Love itself, this kind of presence, this sense of this presence, cannot have any conditions because we're dealing with something which is not matter, not energy, not space, not time. It isn't any of those. So how can, it, how can you condition it? How can you label it? How can you box it up? Uh, that unity consciousness, because it's so unthinkable, is nevertheless the fundamental ground of being out of which everything arises. Because what we're dealing with here is all of eternity as experienced. And experiencing limits eternity. It has to, because that's how anything that is created comes into being. You can't have creation without a limit. And you can't have the present moment without